So today's video is going to be, if you haven't noticed by the title, is the Naked 3 palette review. And this has been talked about on YouTube for a little while now because Urban Decay, once they released that they were doing a Naked 3 and announced that it was going to be all 12 new different shades, it just went crazy and once it actually went out in stores, people were lining up to get it. But actually, I just got this because my boyfriend gave it to me for an early Christmas present and I was so excited because I had been wanting this since they talked about it. Um, it was a little bit on the expensive side, so I was going to wait till after Christmas. But since he got it for me, I was like, yes, I can do a video over it now. First off, this is the box that it comes in. And like I said before, it is all 12 new different shades rather than the Naked 1 and 2 palette. A lot of people didn't like it that some of the colors were repeats or very similar to each other. So um, this palette is 12 all new different shades and it's more of a rose gold base rather than browns and grays. It more has pinks in it, which is also another great thing because it's a very romantic palette and it's going to be great for Valentine's Day, which I'm super excited to wear this around Valentine's Day and just all over every season, but definitely for those romantic times. After you open the box, um, it also comes with this. And it comes with the four different primer potions, the eyeshadow primers. And it comes with the original, Sin, Eden, and Anti-Aging. And it is supposed to last about a week's worth. Um, I'm not sure if it will, just because it's very small um, samples. But still, that's great to just try the different primer potions. So, yeah. And then, of course, you have the actual palette, which the packaging is gorgeous. It is just... Um, a rose gold palette and in the middle it has ridges and I just love the packaging especially better than the first and second one I actually did own the first one and sadly lost it I never owned the second one but I was familiar with it and had saw it in person and what I like a lot about this is how when you open and close it it clamps back and the other ones, I believe, they just go, they open and close, but this one actually clamps. That way, it's safe and protected, and you know it's closed. Um, so, yeah, that is the packaging, and I love it, and it is my favorite out of all the three. Um, but once you open it up, of course, you have your all 12 gorgeous new shades. And another great thing is the mirrors. And... A lot of eyeshadow palettes just come with a small mirror, but this is great because I'm going to be using this to travel, and when you're traveling, you know, you don't have a huge full-out mirror, so it's great to just pop this open and you have the mirror right there. But other than that, the 12 different shades, like I said before, they're mainly rose gold. It starts with the lighter colors and obviously gets darker, um, but it's not just mainly blacks the blackest or the darkest color has red and pink shimmer in it which is gorgeous i will show you the different swatches as i go through these another great thing that comes with the um naked palettes is the brushes and this is a dual ended brush um this is more of a flat shader brush and this other side is a little bit more thicker and fluffier for blending or whatever you like to use it for and they're not crappy brushes. It's not like just cheap ones that come with a lot of the palettes. They're actually great brushes. So anyways, the first color that we're starting out with is Strange. And Strange is a, it's not extremely white. It's more of on the cream side with the pink undertone, of course. And it is so soft when you apply it and it's very creamy. You would think these would be a little bit more chalky, but they're actually not. They're very great. They're all pigmented wonderfully, and so you don't have to keep applying more. It, once you get a swatch, it's going to go on well. Strange would be a great color for the brow bone and the inner corner. Then moving on to dust, it is more of a 
pink shimmer with a little bit of gold undertone. And this one, I would have to say it has a little bit more fallout just because it has a lot of more shimmer in it. But overall, the color is gorgeous and I love it for the lid color. Burnout is the next color and it doesn't have as much shimmer, but it still has a little bit. Um, it's still got a satin feel um, for the eyeshadow and it goes on really well. It's more of a um, rose um, mauve pink, a little bit more on the pinkish side, but again, it's gorgeous for the lid. Then next you have Limit. This color, as I've watched other Naked 3 reviews, it's been raved about just because it is more of a pinkish mauve brown, if that makes sense. But it is a great transition color for the looks, for any look that you have, especially with all of these colors in the palettes. They all go well together. They're all not just going to clash each other. Um, they just all go well together, and that would just be a great transition color. Buzz, um, it's more of on the deep rose side. More of a purple undertone, I guess you could say. I'm horrible at describing colors. But this has also some shimmer in it. It doesn't have as much fallout as dust, but it's still a gorgeous color. Then you have Trick which is a gorgeous gold color. This is probably one of my favorites just because I'm a huge fan of golds. This has a little bit of fallout, but again, it's not horrible that you can't wear it. It does have a little bit of a pink undertone if you shine it in the light, but I love that also for the lower lash line on the inner part. Nooner is also another great color. It's a little bit darker than Limit, but again, you can use it for a transition color if you are more of a dark skin tone, or you can use it for the outer corner, for the outer V. And it's more of a mauve brown, but still with a pink undertone. Like I said, these all have pink or rose gold undertones, and it's also a satin eyeshadow, so it's very creamy, and the pigment is great. Then you have Liar, and I love this color because it's not so much of a pink, but it's not so much of a gold or a brown. It's kind of like all mixed together, and it has a little bit of shimmer, but not really any fallout, and it's smooth, and it goes on great. Then we have Factory, and this is more of a brown, but again, it has a gold and pink undertone. Um, this is great for the outer corner if you're wanting to um, create the dimension, and it's just a gorgeous color overall. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating that they're gorgeous or pretty because they just are. Then you have Mugshot and it's more of a gray, but I can't really see. I guess it has more of a gold undertone rather than a pink. It's just like a goldish gray. And it has a little bit of shimmer, but it's not completely too shimmer. It's not too matte. It's a perfect in between. And the dark side, that's actually pretty much a gray, really smooth. Actually, once you swatch it though, it does have a purple undertone, but I feel like it would make green eyes pop, and that's what I have, so it's great. And then lastly, Black Heart. This has also been raved about about this palette, but it truly is the prettiest, darkest color out of all the palettes. It is just a black, but not too black, with red, pink, and gold undertone, I swear, like, making this, the Urban Decay, they did a great job, and it's perfect for the outer corner, or if you just want a really dramatic look, you can just put it on the um, lid and just smoke it out, it's just overall great, but that is all of the 12 colors, I tried to go pretty quick and not trying not to ramble as much as I do on a regular basis, but overall, if I was to say whether you should buy it or not, I would definitely recommend it because if you were choosing between the three Naked palettes, this one I would choose because it's different from all the others. It's not repeats. It's not just neutrals. It's a little bit different, but still of a neutral. Um, it's more romantic, more girly, I guess you could say, and the packaging, you can't deny the packaging. It's just gorgeous. I just love this palette. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. I'm using, I believe, Burnout, Limit, Trick, Factory, 
I think that's it. And like I said before, they all blend together, so it's not like if you use one color and you use another color, it's going to clash. It just goes together well. Um, I believe they sell it at Ulta, Sephora, um, online in the stores, and on, obviously, UrbanDecay.com. My boyfriend picked this up. He said this was the last one, and uh, I wasn't surprised with that because they are going extremely quick. Also, um, I believe this palette is $52.00. Like I said before, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but with this many shadows, great pigments, and the quality of them, I believe it's worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all found it helpful, and I hope you go try it out off of my recommendation. And if you do go buy it and try it out, um, let me know how you like it or your favorite colors, and comment below which eyeshadows you like the best, or also just... Um, do a look and put it on your Instagram and tag me in it because I would love to see it and get different looks with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will list the link below um, for the Urban Decay website just in case you want to go to it and buy it. Um, also, all my links will be below and please don't forget to subscribe. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!